The Oncotype DCIS score is a number between 0 and 100. And this number is um, placed on a graph that gives you a likelihood of recurrence at 10 years. And that likelihood of recurrence is somewhere between 0 and 100%. When it comes, it will give you three numbers. The first number will be your score. That score should not be interpreted as the percent likelihood of recurrence. The percent likelihood of recurrence is the second number that's on the score report. And that tells you that in 10 years, the likelihood of recurrence in the same breast is whatever that second number is, 10%, 20%, 30%. And then the third number is the likelihood of that recurrence at 10 years being invasive cancer. And so those numbers are used to help guide the physicians in making recommendations to the patient in terms of what additional treatments she may benefit from. The final pieces of information that come on the report are individual gene expression. So that means they look at how much estrogen receptor gene expression or how positively estrogen receptor positive the, G, the DCIS is, and same for the progesterone receptor. And this is used to compare to some of the more traditional ways of looking at the estrogen and progesterone receptor tests, which are done looking at the protein levels. This test, the Oncotype DCIS, looks at the RNA level, which is what codes for the protein development. And so it's a way for us to ensure that a woman's DCIS is or is not estrogen receptor positive or progesterone receptor positive. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.